Welcome back guys. This episode is going to be all about improving the Halo line. Uh, both the freight and the passengers, but I think we'll be focusing mainly on the freight, but I want to improve the passengers as well. And there's a couple of ways we're going to do that. But before I do that, there is one important thing that I have to do. I have to name this. This is not the Upton on 7 food processing plant. If I can change it. Let's change this. This is, of course, over, see Yorkie Pudge here over here. Well, this is the famous, the world famous Yorkie Pud factory where Yorkshire puddings are manufactured and eaten and enjoyed the world over. There we go, Yorkie Pud Factory, <laughs> done. Now, um, so I had a couple of comments about um, like why I was putting coal on this line. Um, where, where was I putting coal on the line? I don't know, I was putting coal on the line somewhere. I think it was down here, wasn't it? Yeah, here we go. Uh, why was I putting coal on the line? Because uh, I said, I did say originally I was just going to put finished goods on the line. But then I thought, you know what, it'd be kind of cool if we just like shoved everything on the line. And then, for example, the Yorkie Pud factory over here hasn't got any farms anywhere near it. But if we were shoving livestock and grain on the line and it was just getting shoveled round, it can get shoved off like at any point. And then factories like this can actually start manufacturing, which I thought would be quite cool. Um... And of course, that helps to distribute the goods because if we start manufacturing food over here, then that food can probably go straight to Bickety's Hollow and any left over can start getting shuffled along down the line. So that's the idea. Right, that's enough yak. It's time to actually put some stuff in. So kick the time lapse.
Okay, guys, now you just got some potted highlights there because um, I've actually spent yeah, between five and six hours <laughs> doing all of that and then going around and checking stuff and making sure everything was working, uh, which it is, thank God. So uh, right now we can get on with stuff. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get the thing running. Now, um, I have run it on a little bit, only like, I don't know, maybe a year. Uh, so we're up to uh, we're up to 1941 now. Just just gone into 1941. So yeah, so we're running. I don't know, just just over a year. While I was just figuring out, because I had I had some trains that got flipped around, so I had to change those and stuff like that. So there we go. Right now, I've hopefully I've sorted out the um, the airports, um, and I've changed the. I've changed the planes to, to down to just four. Oh, we've got seven passengers on the Winston ice cream route. Good. We'll see if we get some on the other route. That'd be that'd be good news. Um, okay, profitability. Uh, how are we doing on the Halo lines? Right, they're starting to come back to profitability because I've um, upgraded virtually every station. I haven't upgraded every single one, but virtually all of them both freight and uh, passengers. It means I, I effectively got rid of all the passengers. So we're waiting for these to kind of get back up to full strength. Um, but when they do, we should be making a decent profit. Uh, what else? Now, one thing that I've noticed when I was looking at the profits is, um, is our, our, f our freight, our road freight is not making money at the moment it's because we're not shipping enough stuff around so I think the um, the big issue now is getting the the freight line halo freight actually shipping enough stuff to get profitable and I think probably the first thing we need to do is address the vehicles themselves because currently currently they're set up with four of each so they got four state cars four fuel four Goods wagons, oh yeah, four stake and four um, four like open wagons. Um, I don't think with the with the setup that we've got that that's enough to make them profitable. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is set up um, set up an auto replacement. So we'll stick. Uh, what have we got at the moment? A three five. 62 miles an hour. I'm just wondering if we shouldn't upgrade to maybe something else. No, no, I'll stick with the A35s. Am I going to stick with the A35s or am I going to upgrade to the Scotsman's? Uh, let's upgrade to Scotsman's, I think. Yeah, let's upgrade to Scotsman's. Okay, so th th it's going to be a Scotsman with uh, one, two, three, four, five, and I am wondering about putting specific fuel tankers on, but I think keeping them generic is probably. I think the gen the generic one might be the way to go. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and five state cars. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we want. Now the open the open wagons are coal, iron ore, stone, grain. So, you know what? I'm not going to put those on. I'm not going to put the open cars on. I don't think at the moment. So, yeah, and if I take those off, then that's 15 cars, isn't it? Um, we can probably afford to maybe do I think we can afford to do 18 cars so let's have another tank wagon and then one two three four five six and one two three four five six okay that's what we're gonna go with so I'm gonna set this to 25% yes automatic okay this is gonna be interesting then right so uh, let's crank this up and see if these guys actually get replaced. So let's uh, let's go and follow Halo Freight One. 
Oh man! Now, as we follow um, stuff around um, in the future, um, I'll show you all the changes that I've made, and there are like a lot of changes. Uh, all of the stations, well, virtually all of the stations have been upgraded to um, to four platforms. Right? Yes, you've been upgraded. You've been upgraded. Four out of the six have been upgraded. You haven't yet. Let's have a look at you. Yeah, get yourself into this. Get yourself upgraded. Boom, there we go. And last one is train 16. And train 16's got upgraded. Alrighty. What? We just spent quite a bit of money on that. But now, with this configuration, I'm hoping that these guys can actually get profitable be kind of nice wouldn't it so let's uh, let's turn the replacement off now um, am I gonna leave it on auto now let's, let's just leave it as it is for now okay so let's leave that um, why do I think that with that configuration they can become profitable well if um, if we go over to Honkelbrief Conkelbrief Industries, uh, which is just down here. Where are you? Uh, that's the airport. Where's Conkelbrief? Uh, oh, here it is. <laughs> Sorry. Conkelbrief's here. And we're getting a fair amount of fuel. So they'll be picking up fuel and shipping that around. Right? Uh, food. If we go up, um, where were we? Well, where were we producing food? I can't remember. Oh, that's Yorkie Pud. I've oh, got an auto save going on. Food. We've got food being produced. <laughs> where the hell's the food being produced? Oh, it's down here, isn't it? Here we go. We've got food being produced here. Uh, we've got 150 food waiting to get shipped. On the other side of the loop. We've got food over here waiting to be shipped. Oh, and that's train eight just delivering more food. We just need a we just need a freight train to come in and actually collect some of it. Uh, yeah, I really need to upgrade a lot of the uh, the buses. They're not set to auto upgrade, but we'll do that another time. For right now, what we're interested in is the freight. There's a passenger train going through. Oh no, this is a freight train. Oh, awesome. And you've just picked up 48 food. Awesome. Right, so he's gonna start delivering that. And then again over the other side. So, we've, so we're picking up uh, fuel, we're picking up food in two places. And then over here, we've got the building materials. And we've, uh, yeah, we've got the construction materials. We've also got machines and tools for them to pick up and ship around. So I'm hoping that with that new layout, that new configuration, they should be a bit more profitable. Um, but we need to get more stuff on. So I don't know, where, like where the hell do we start? Now, it's a good point. Where the hell do we start? I mean, really, we could do with producing fuel somewhere else. Now, let's see. We've got we've got an oil refinery over here. Uh, I don't suppose there's any. Oh, and we've got an oil well there. Okay, let's get some more fuel being produced, shall we? And we've got Premier 2K right over there. So yeah, this um, this could work. What do you think? Truck it down to there, and then maybe train into there I don't know let's see um, so uh, let's pause it for a sec while I chop up this road get rid of this road Boom. Um, right that's the oil refinery so I want as straight a road as I can get I don't know I, I've got to say I'm kind of tempted to put a train line in um, just because I want the no I'm going to put a train line in because I want the tankers 
I want to see the tankers running backwards and forwards. So let's get uh, one of these medium country roads. Run it out on that side. Run it out on that side. And run you off over there. Right, so ha, let's get freight station put in. So what do we want? We want freight. We want uh, terminus. And flip you around. Point you. Now where's the where's the oil? Oh, the oil's over there. So we want you pointed. Right over there. Right, that's that. Now it's going to be a very short run, I grant you. And could we do it with trucks? Yeah, we could do it with trucks. But don't you want to see the? <laughs> don't you want to see the trains doing it? The trains are so much cooler. And all right, so let's run a road down there. Um, I don't know. Let's just hook it up to there for the sake of this and oh that won't work try that again sky there you go and that will do okay so we want a freight station pointing back at the other one right where's Where's that one? That one's there, so... We want this one just round a little bit more, like that. Okay. Then, hook it up with a nice straight line. Right, then we'll uh, double it up. because we're going to run two trains on here, I think. Now, why are you complaining? There we go. That's more like it. And same at the other end. There we go. Okay, we want, um, we want a depot. Where do we want the depot? We're producing the oil here. So we pick up, drop off, so we want, yeah, we want a depot down here. I've put containers on it, it doesn't matter. Oh, my, um, should we run an electric train on here? Oh, you know what? We've electrified this. Should we run an electric train? Oh, go on, let's run an electric train. <laughs> yeah, now that's a, that is the best idea I've had today. Right, um, so we'll have um, just a standard track coming off here like that. Um... Uh, do I put it in both ways? No. Nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, what do I want? I see I'm all excited now about the electric trains. Well, no, no, depot. Depot. Right. Uh, flip it around a bit. Put a little hook on. There we go. Right. What train are we going to have? Uh, do, 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 do. I'm thinking, I don't know. Classy 94 would be kind of nice. The... Ooh, that's faster though. Uh, that's sixty-two. That's sixty-two. That's got that's got more pulling power. But I think we'll go for the top speed. Should we go for that one? Yeah, we haven't seen it yet. So what the hell? We haven't seen the crocodile yet, but that's a bit slow for us now. So I don't I don't, I don't really think we're going to see one of those. Okay, we want to buy one of those right um and then we just want um, tank wagons don't we so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve sounds about right to me uh set line well I, uh, should we just put one on for now let's just put one on for now i think um so we want a new line and it's gonna run from there to there. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if this even works. <laughs> Have I got this set up right? Let's find out. And as always, we'll go and see our new train, hopefully, pull out. Maybe it'll pull out and stop because I haven't got the electricity hooked up right. But Oh, here we go. 
Oh my god, it's working! Should you have a closer look? Let's have a closer look. Oh, the old pantograph. Man, this is good, isn't it? I mean, seriously, I, I still get kind of stunned by the level of detail in this. And the fact that the pantograph actually looks like it does connect. I mean, it, you would think that that's actually working. All right, let's have a look. First electric train arrived. Hooray! Cool, so we've got that running up and down between there. So are you gonna start producing oil? Let's speed it up a little bit. Come on, start producing oil. You've got demand now. Yes, it started producing. Okay, slide down again. Okay, right now that we're producing the oil, that'll produce the fuel. Now we need to get the fuel onto our main line. So it starts getting shipped around. Uh, okay, well, let's pause. How are we going to do this? Well, we're going to take a line out of here. And like that. And, oh, come on. Come on, don't mess around. There we go. Now, where are we going? We want to go to here, don't we? Yep. So we want something like that, I suppose. Yep, that'll do. Cool. That works for me. Right, let's go up here and we'll put in. So we're aiming for that. Okay, so let's get a freight station again. Uh, no, want terminal one. Flip you around a bit. And, well, we can hook you up directly. Yeah, why not? So, that looks pretty straight. Can't align the terrain, though. Oh, now it can. Uh, I think we want to adjust that around a fraction, don't we? All right. And then... Now we're going to do this with another electric train. Construction not possible, because I'm using roads instead of using track, like a bonehead. And... Yeah, do we... Do I really want a bridge there? I don't particularly want a bridge there, but I guess I'll take one. Viaduct, yes, I know. Right, so, get rid of you. So we've got our track in. We need, uh, we need a depot and we need a train. So we want the depot down here, don't we? Yeah, let's put the depot... I don't know, let's put the depot in here. Okay, ching and depot, 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 depot. Here we go, depot. Little flip around. There we go. Right, what train are we gonna put on here? I think it's gonna be probably something sim similar. Now what's this, what is this red arrow? Single unit express rail car. 78 miles an hour. Holy hell. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using one of those. I think we're going to go with uh, another one of these. Yep, it's going to be one of those. So, one of those with um, a load of tank wagons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That was what we put on the other one, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, that'll do. Right, set line and a new line. Now this one's gonna run from... Did that go in? Yeah, it did. From Premier 2K to the transfer. Uh, set line. Uh, why didn't that go in? Uh, why didn't that go in? It's that one, isn't it? Line two. Go. Can't find a path. 
Why can't you find a path? Have I not connected that properly? Yep, that's connected. You're connected to there, okay. That's connected up. That's connected up. That's connected up. Uh, okay, what the hell's wrong with this then? Uh, I don't see what's wrong. Oh, you know what? This needs to be upgraded to have catenaries. There you go. Right. And now the train pulls out. Uh, no, apparently it doesn't. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, it does. If I turn it on. <laughs> oh, you got to love it, haven't you? Well, we've just seen one of these trains, so... We can't watch all the uh, all the oil tanks roll past because we didn't look at that. Oh, and off it goes! Oh dear, it picks up speed quick, doesn't it? Right, let's go back up to the other one and see is it starting to uh, to actually deliver? Here we go. You bringing me some oil? Yes, he's bringing us one crude oil. <laughs> one, really? My dear, it's his first trip, so are you going to have more when you get, when you come back? Let's have a look. This should now, uh, well, now th this one should now have detected that it's got loads and loads of demand. No, you haven't picked it up yet. It'll figure it out soon enough. Have you uh, line usage? No. But he started to produce, so it should happen pretty quickly. You know what? Let's let's crank it up. Yeah, here we go. Now, have you picked up the demand? He's picked up some. Okay, so now we've got another source of fuel going onto the onto the thing, and we've got the fuel going on on that side. We've got the fuel going on on this side, almost opposite. So that should help. Okay, so we've got food being put on in two places. Probably next we want, um, I don't know, building materials, tools, machines. The one thing we haven't done yet is goods, and I really do need to get that set up. Right, let's have a look. We've got, we've got 54 million in the bank. We spent 23 and a half million. So yeah, so we're still making around 25. Well, in fact, we're making a bit more. We spent 23, 26... And we made one, so we made made about 27 million last year. Um, it's the freight, though. How is the freight doing? Because if we if we can ship more freight around, then or our our road freight lines will become more profitable. So this is what we want to be looking at. Halo Freight One is currently losing us two million a year, two and a half. Oh no, one and a half. But. Yeah, I mean it's not that they're not none of them are carrying any fuel at the moment. In fact, they're not doing a whole lot of anything at the moment. So let's um, let's find some of them. We'll follow them around for a minute. So Halo Freight One, where are you? You're heading to Viewterville. And you've got fuel, you've got tools, you've got food, you'll be picking up more food. You've oh you're full of uh, construction materials. Oh, look at that. He's just made a million. Cool. Oh, we might be getting somewhere. <laughs> we might just be getting somewhere. Uh, we are going to have to add more trains onto this line because we've only got like one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and I'm thinking we probably need maybe ten. I would think something along those lines. Uh, you know what? Let's follow you. Let's follow you and see. So you made a million there. What are you gonna what are you gonna do at Rootborough? And he makes another million. 
0.38. Oh, you know, I wonder, are we on the verge of maybe making some money? It's got to be close. Yeah, I, th I think our trains are now starting, because with this new configuration, I mean, they've got to do a whole lap to, so that they can get filled up. Oh my god! We're in profit! Holy crap! And if we're in profit, then if we whack some more trains on, we'll be even more profitable. Oh, good grief. And, and, and this is before we really load up with, um, with loads of stuff from all over the place. Now all of these all of these stations are set up with uh, with two platforms. Um, well, they're all set up with four platforms, but they're set up with um, with two inner platforms. So if I decide that I want to run a second line, I can actually do that. And some of these some of these setups that I've got are pretty interesting. Oh, I, this game, guys, I mean, when you get to play it, which, uh, and you'll get to play it today, yep, you'll get to play it today, um, if you, well, assuming that you've pre-ordered it, you'll get to play it today, um, once you start playing it, oh my god, and we've got a, we've got the Douglas DC-4 now, right, what are you going to make here, and, oh, 500, just 500k from there, but the more stuff that we're dropping off, the more our, our freight lines will start making money. Let's um, let's flip this. So if we start looking down here, yeah. See, all of our, a lot of these RF ones, these RF GPs, these general purpose uh, road freight lines, they're they're all losing us money, right? But the more stuff we get to them the more they'll start to make money, and then we'll really start to rake in the cash. Are, are any of them getting... Oh my god, Sparkville... See, Sparkville one is... Oh, is actually profitable. Good lord. Any others? Um, let's see. Uh, you know what, if I sort this by name, and we can just look at the RF ones. Here we go. So yeah, uh, Barrington is making money. And uh, belt. Uh, that's the that's the belt coal one. We want the GPS. Um, Honkel Brief crude oil's making some money. That's nice. And the fuel oil. Now the GPS generally are not making money, so we need to ship more stuff out to them. So we need more of these trains. Is what we need. But we need them to be making money. Where's the Halo Freight? Oh my God, guys, look! It's making money. Three and a half million. Two and a half million. Two and a half again. So yeah, would you, would, uh, like, do I buy the trains? Do I buy the trains in this episode? Or do we call it there? Do I leave you in suspense? Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave you in suspense. Uh, what we're going to do is get out of that stuff. We're going to have a look at this. So let's see. We made 31 million. And I'm thinking that this year we'll probably make even more now that the freight has started uh, started working. Yeah, I, I think we're going to be rocking now. So yeah, um, we'll have one last look at that new fuel thing that I put in. Where the hell was it? It was over, it was over by Premier 2K. How are we doing? You are, oh, you're producing a lot. You are producing eh, not quite as much, but we've got fuel ready to be shipped out. Now, has this train actually shipped? Yes, it has. Look, it's shipping it down here, and it's shipping fuel, and it's also shipping crude oil. Which is kind of interesting. So somewhere on the line, there is a demand for more crude oil. Which my guess would be, would be um, Honkel Briff Industries. Over here. 
So, I'm guessing that this isn't getting enough oil from uh, from these trucks. Maybe we need to replace this with um, a train line. Yeah, I'm thinking we need to replace it with a train line. Look, this has only got like 12, 11 stored. And, and that's with, you know, not really high production. So yeah, I think we need to step that line up. It's a fascinating game, isn't it? Fascinating game. But look, we've got 180 fuel. 190 fuel sitting there. We need more trains. Guys, we'll call it there. Come back for the next episode. We'll bang on some more freight trains. Um, oh, I, oh, I need to look at the airplanes, don't I, before we go to see. Are we getting any passengers? We've got seven on the Barrington ice cream. But we're not getting any on the... We're not getting any from Winston. I think there's um, there's maybe something wrong with Winston. I tell you what, I'll give you a look at it. Right, so this is the um, this is the Winston one. Now, if you if you look over here, right, when I click on this, you'll see it is it is. Oh, you know what? That's only partially connected. That's only partially connected. Um, you know what I should do? I should actually move this over so that it's um, the entrance is over here so that it's fully connected to that. I think that's where the problem lies. You know what, guys? I might do that before the next episode. Um, leave me your comments. I know you'll have lots for me. I hope you're enjoying it. I'll catch you for the next one. Enjoy playing the game, by the way, guys. Peace out. <laughs>